Hello and welcome to going book shopping on my birthday. I was having trouble thinking of an intro. I asked chat GPT, which is an AI chat box basically to write me an intro for this video where I go book shopping on my birthday and this is what it said. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today is my birthday. To celebrate I'm going on a wild adventure to explore the depths of the one place that brings me joy, a bookstore. That's right, I'm a rebel who parties hard with hard covers and paperbacks. So grab your library card, buckle up, because we're about to go book shopping like it's my birthday. Because it is. <laughs> I can't tell if that's like the worst intro or if it was kind of great. Well, thanks ChatGPT for the help. <laughs> anyway, it it is almost my birthday. Today is May 2nd. My birthday is on May 9th, but on my actual birthday, I'm going to be doing stuff with my boyfriend and my family. And one of my favorite things to do is just have a complete like alone day where I bookshop and read. And so as a little pre-birthday gift to myself, I thought it would be nice to go book shopping and then sit at a coffee shop and read. Specifically, I really want to buy Happy Place by Emily Henry. That is my singular goal today. If I complete that, today will be a success. And I think this video is going up on May 9th, which is my actual birthday. But yeah, I don't know what else I'm planning to buy outside of Happy Place, but there's a lot of books that I have been seeing around BookTube and BookTok and been wanting to get. Let's go inside and go book shopping. If spring is the season that wakes me alive and fall is the season to contemplate life oh Ooh, i've never heard of this book or this colleen hoover book and both look good a lucy score book i haven't heard about love lucy score Featured, people who made a vacation, book lovers. Where is Happy Place? If they don't have it, I'm gonna cry. Hello, so I had made like a little list of books I wanted to get and I've gotten sidetracked with four books that are not on my list. So I don't know if I'm gonna get all these, but I'm trading between Forever and Ever by Lucy Score. Lucy Score's complete book. The way I just dropped all the books. Lucy Score has quickly become like an auto buy author for me. And this description is so interesting. It says, you don't fall for your brother's high school sweetheart, your boss's daughter, or your ex-wife's best friend, especially when they're all the same woman. The scandal. Caraval, I just finished reading Once Upon a Broken Heart. I'm obsessed. And I probably should have read Caraval first, and now I kind of want to go back and read this series. The Fairy Bargains of Prospect Hill. This cover is so pretty. It's buy one, get one 50% off, and it's Barnes & Noble's monthly pick. I've never heard of it before. The plot sounds interesting, but it doesn't have any romance, and I don't know if I love fantasy enough to read a fantasy without any romance. And then lastly, Hooked, which is a Peter Pan retelling. And it's like a dark romance, like the male love interest is like Captain Hook kind of vibes, which sounds so cool. And I've been seeing this as the Never After series. I've been seeing it everywhere. So yeah, I don't know what to do, and I still can't find Happy Place by Emily Henry. I checked online before coming, and it said they had it, so I'm gonna have to ask one. I currently have this book on hold at my library, so I shouldn't buy it, but it's so pretty, I kind of want to own it. I just got out of Barnes and I got five books. I couldn't decide and literally none of the books. <gasps> there was another book I was gonna buy and I forgot. Oh my gosh, no. I was gonna get Magnolia Parks. I've been really wanting to read Magnolia Parks. I've been hearing so much about it and I was like, I'm gonna grab Magnolia Parks on my way out and I forgot. Okay, well, it's probably better for my wallet. Anyway, I got five books. Very unlike me, only one of them is romance. The rest are fantasy. I am just fully committing to fantasy reader being my new soul personality trait. Only fantasy romance reader though. Anyway, the first book I got is Hooked, which is a Peter Pan retelling. I've now read a few fairy tale retellings and they just hit. I love seeing the similarities to the original fairy tale, but then seeing how like they take a new twist with it. And what's even better about this one is the villain 
then Captain Hook is like our male love interest. So it's like a dark romance. And basically James, who is like Captain Hook, is looking to get revenge on his enemy, Peter, like Peter Pan. So his plan for revenge is to seduce Peter's daughter, Wendy, but then he slowly starts to see Wendy as more than just a pawn in his game. So it's gonna be James and Wendy getting together, I assume. But yeah, this is the first book in the Never After series. And I have been seeing people talking about this series recently. So thought it'd be fun to read. Then I got the Assassin's Blade, which is part of the Throne of Glass series. I own Throne of Glass and I want to start that series soon. And I've been hearing mixed things on when you're supposed to read the Assassin's Blade. Some people say read it first. Some people say like read it in the middle. So I'm not sure what reading order I'm going to do yet, but I wanted to have it just so when I start Throne of Glass, if I want to start with this book, I can. And this says the Throne of Glass novella. Can we look up the definition of novella really quick? A novella is a short novel or long short story, usually around 100 pages. This book is over 400 pages. I don't think that's a short novel or a long short story. That's just a, a long novel. So I'm surprised they can count this as a novella, but whatever. Anyway, love Sarah J Maas. I've only read the Akatar series by her, but I'm excited to start another series by her. Then the one romance I got is The Love Wager by Lynn Painter. This is Lynn Painter's new book. I've read Better Than the Movies and The Duo Over by her, and both are really cute young adult romances. And this book is actually new adult romance, which is my favorite age group to read. So I'm excited. She's written a little bit of an older book and it sounds really cute. It says two people make a wager on who can find love first, not realizing that they should be betting on each other. So I've no doubt it's gonna be adorable. Then I got Caraval. I just finished reading the first two books in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series and they were so good. I read both of them in like three days. And the Caraval and Once Upon a Broken Heart series, you can read separately like as standalone series, but they do take place in the same world. And if you wanna read both, you're supposed to read Caraval first because the event in this series take place first. I didn't do that. I read Once Upon a Broken Heart first, loved it. So now I wanna go back and read the Caraval series. This is about Scarlet and Tella who are sisters and they get an invitation to Caraval, which is a once a year performance where the audience participates in the show. And when they get there, Tella gets kidnapped and it turns out that this season's caraval revolves around Tella and whoever finds her first is the winner which sounds crazy like do they get to keep her when they find her like how is this working I don't know but if it's anywhere near as good as Once Upon a Broken Heart I'm gonna love it and then lastly I did not plan on buying this book I got How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories which is the novella part of the Cruel Prince series or the Folk of Air series which I love series and I put this book on hold at my library so I was like I don't need to buy it and get at my library but it's such a pretty book that I kind of want to own it like look how pretty just the inside flap is all the pages have illustrations which is so cool like look how gorgeous and if you take the jacket off it's so pretty. And I started reading this in Barnes. I went and sat and got a drink and I read the first two short stories and they're so good so far. It's so nice being back in the world of Cardan and Jude. I miss them so much. So I'm glad I get to read a little more about them. This is mostly, I believe about Cardan and like his life growing up, but the first story was about him and Jude, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that is all five books that I got. I will probably be ordering Happy Place by Emily Henry because that's literally all I wanted to do today was read it. But yeah, let me know y'all's thoughts on these books. Like, which one should I read first? Also, I have a question. As I'm, like, entering my fantasy era, every fantasy is, like, a huge series. And they all sound so good, and I want to read them all. But also, like, sometimes it feels like a lot to just go from huge series to huge series to huge series. So do you guys have any recommendations for standalone fantasies? Or even short series, like, maybe just, like, two books in the series or something like that. Sometimes I just want to read a story from start to finish in like a few days and I don't want to commit to like a 10 book series. So yeah, let me know like short fantasy recs if you guys have them. All right, and with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.